My wife and I love that umbrella guy. Oh, we love that umbrella guy. Hey there. So if you love that umbrella guy too, make sure that you sub. Make sure you hit that bell for daily notifications. And if you want to go further, well, there are links in the description. More on that at the end of the video. So today I want to return to that wonderful world of entertainment. And it's been really interesting to find out what is entertaining out there. You know, that's probably been one of the most surprising things. Because I never thought that I would sit down and say, Hey, I am being entertained by two lawyers. And those two lawyers, they are great to watch. I mean, all of this stuff, it of course hooks to escapism. And we're talking about Vic Mignogna here, if you didn't catch up on that. Essentially, what you're talking about are people brigading against a dude, trying to destroy his occupation, his reputation. And when they did it, at first, they did it quite well. They went out, you know, and they called him terrible things. They spread all of these ideas of what he's been doing for decades plus. Of course, when people started asking questions, the pictures that you saw of hugs and on, well, places like uh, Anime News Network, they've had to pull some of those pictures. They've had to redact certain claims. But, of course, well, that didn't stop certain people out there. Now, along the way, we saw specific voice actors go and give their testimony. You know, of course, when I say testimony, I'm talking about in the Twitter sphere, 280 character culture brigading against individuals. And well, that might get you likes, that might get you retweets, but at the end of the day, it does not mean anything except you're opening yourself up for potential litigation. Now, these people, of course, they pretended that litigation will never come. I mean, we're looking at this guy here, he actually was quite smarmy about it for the longest time. You know, yes, in fact, we will. If he feels we lied or anyone else has, he should sue. The great news is that the best defense against defamation is the truth. That's why he hasn't filed any lawsuits against us. Whoa, look at that. But those uh, who file false claims will get sued. See, that is a threat buried in there saying we're going to sue you there and you're not going to make that move you know that's a middle finger another one here if we are lying he should sue we would love to go to court in a defamation case the person filing the suit has to prove she lied to the best defense against defamation the truth there is a reason there has been any defamation case brought against people again trying to say the same thing of course hatchet jobbing the English language but hey that seems to be one of the common things we're going to see too we see things like this as well popping up I would actually love for this to go to court. Please let him sue. The best defense against libel and defamation is the truth. The procession of people coming to the courtroom to share their testimony would be a magnificent sight to see. And of course, she understands the ramifications of her words. That's not what people don't understand. If it wasn't true, she wouldn't have said it. Why do you think Vic hasn't tried to sue her for defamation? Why do you think none of the other voice actors have uh, defended him? Hmm. So, you see that. You see this idea that he's not going to go to court. And as we get closer to this event, well, you notice that song change. You see this shopped around. The idea that, well, Ron, he would be open to settlement if you were talking about it ever going to court. And again, saying that out there, that gives you the idea that they realize this stuff, it is getting closer. You're actually talking about something transpiring. And if terms were agreeable, we would settle outside of court. If terms were agreeable, we would indeed settle. We wouldn't want to go there. No one wants to go to court, but no one's afraid of it. Do you see the song difference here? You also, within this little song and dance, you see him lawyer up. You know, on the 20th, you actually think that the guy is finally going to stop this nonsense. He's finally going to stop the madness. He locks his stuff down. He says this is the last time he's going to post about Vic. As he stated there, he has zero uh, concern about court welcomes it and everything's going to be forwarded to a lawyer you can take that to the bank here mm -hmm. now of course we have moved forward we actually do see litigation we do see 
evidence that someone is getting something served. We do know, of course, that this has happened before as well, that Ron was asked not to delete anything. Don't remove anything because we're getting ready to rock and roll, which, of course, Ron did indeed note. Now, you can see this stuff being prepared. You see all of it gotten together. And it's really interesting to see these are requests for removal for Twitter. Asking, hey, you going to remove all of this crap that you've said? Because, you know, that's not good. This stuff is actually damaging. And, yeah, it was. I mean, when you think about what he's been sharing out there, it's actually quite offensive, too. If you're a fan of certain people out there, you decided, hey, I want to look at this from a due process lens. A lot of stuff that this guy has been liking and spreading and on, that stuff, it smacks in the face of uh, what you would consider being a fan of fans. Yeah, going out and saying those fans are dangerous, saying we we need to go to a smaller venue. You know, we're going to actually hire our own, our own security at a smaller venue all of you are invited, but of course we have to leave this one because it's dangerous. All of these ideas that are shopped around are an affront to that. But hey, doesn't matter there. Just like the litigation coming. Nope. LOL. Let's go. I'm not worried one bit. He answers there. Hmm. All right there. You know, and you can see people uh, answering that. What are you going to do uh, after the... Uh, the A to the S to the S blasting you're going to receive. No one believes you're not completing uh, yourself. Y'all, yeah, y'all in it, effed <laughs> up so hard. And now there's nothing to save you. I assure you, I'm not worried at all. I'm not worried at all. I'm not going to worry about it in any way, shape, or form. This idea that keeps coming up. I think malice will be proven by sheer quantity, buddy. That's a lot of content. I am ready and not backing down one bit. That is the problem, too. The not backing down one bit. That is the thing that I've been seeing myself and some stuff I've been dealing with. That is the thing that you see from a lot of other voice actors. They never back down. They never capitulate because they think that there is nothing that's going to happen. There will never be a ramification there will never be any type of action toward this interaction. Oh, no, none of that ever. Now, he does talk about, you know, the actual hiring of a lawyer. He does confirm that a couple of times in here. I did hire a lawyer, and I'm not acting tough. I'm just being me. I'm just being me, man. I'm not acting tough. You know, when I went out and I basically called out that other lawyer, I was just being me. Probably not the smartest thing you've ever done in your life. You know, if that's something that you do normally, going out and trying to pick fights with lawyers, well, you know, I guess that's your prerogative, but it didn't look very good. It reminds me of the way that you acted with the uh, certain five words that resonated across the uh, internet. We will be in touch. Yeah, those five words, they were deafening like a cannon going off you know within e earshot and yet you were acting like that was harassment at first you flex and then you say that lawyer out there it's just a pr stunt he's just setting out here you know flexing on it because there's no way that hat has meaning and that dude he's never ever going to come at us that's just an intimidation tactic because of harassment you know, I know what I know, and I'm loving life. I know what I know. I know what I know there, and I'm loving life. Man, is that kind of like a pie pie thing? You know, I is what I is, or I am what I am, you know. Again, we see that I did hire a lawyer or an attorney, and uh, I don't have to be silent, especially when people are continually lying and threatening me and my family lying and threatening me and my family. I don't have to prove a thing to you, but Ty knows who my attorney is. Well, if we're talking about the same guy, yeah, we all know who your attorney is because you posted it before. You posted up a name. I'm guessing that's your representation. I mean, hey, like I said, you posted this. You posted all of that, so I don't know why you wouldn't put that up there. But it has been interesting, the lying and the threatening me and my family. It's been quite, 
quite interesting to see what is considered a threat. And again, there is no stamp on threats. I don't know how many times I need to say that. Oh, you know, no doxing. Nobody should be going out threatening. What these people, however, consider threats or consider harassment is something that they don't want to see. They don't want to see anyone saying, hey, due process. They don't want to see anyone out there saying, hey, you know, uh, when I saw all of this stuff, it kind of bothers me because they don't want to see that. In fact, when a convention actually brought that up, when a convention actually did a 180 and said, hey, Vic, why don't you come in? You saw the firestorm of controversy that set off not only with this person, but because of this person. You know, if you look at the way that that went in, you look at the way that that situated, and you look at the some of the brigaders also that came up, the same faces that you see doing all types of crazy stuff. Well, it's kind of interesting. It's kind of amazing. It's not very surprising. And well, I don't think that, that that'll work out very well either. You know, I see this group of people, these group that want to pretend that nothing is going wrong, that litigation is not right around the corner, that nobody is going to get served, and that nothing will get hurt in this process. That, if that's not bragging, if that's not trying to flex on the internet, well, you know, this is probably not the best foot forward. But then again, like I said at the beginning, entertainment and certain lawyers out there, it does make for a heck of a show. Show. But you, you tell me what you think about this kind of stuff. Now, if you like this kind of content, make sure that you subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell for daily notifications. And if you want to go further, links are in the description. Now, one of the things that I have linked is my current Indiegogo project. If you have not seen that, check that out. It is something that, of course, if you check out my other videos, I've been getting a heck of a time from some of these folks out there. So check that out. It's basically something that uh, I think a lot of people would like. And I would appreciate that. There are other links as well. You showing up is definitely uh, welcome to. Just showing up. Great. Thank you for that. And, you know, when we're talking about this stuff, leave comments. I also, I want to leave you with a comment of my own. One that these people forget. And that you, you should be respected. Agree, disagree, whatever in that. You know, at the end of the day, you make endeavors possible. So I thank you for showing up. I thank you for watching this. And we will do it again very soon. Thank you.